rolling. Good morning, so we're back at Summerhill today and it's the 27th of April. Um, here today we've been seeing signs that the colonies are growing and I had an inkling today that we might start seeing queen cells. So we've changed our order a bit and instead of going through the normal colony, the most likely one to want to do something was this colony number six. Now we start, it's a double brood box, so this morning we've been through the bottom box, we found the queen, and because I had a bad feeling about where this colony was going, as soon as we found her, we took her out on the frame she was on and we put her in a spare box. We went through the bottom box and we found some cups, lots of brood, everything okay. As we've gone through the upper box, we found queen cups, lots of them, a couple with eggs in, and we found one charged queen cell, so with royal jelly and a larvae in it. At that point, you know you've crossed the threshold, you have to do something. So we're going to do a Pagden split on this colony. We're fortunate, we found the queen really early and we've separated her out, so we haven't got all the stress of finding her again now. I'm kind of glad I did that, sorry, smoke has gone right down my throat. So now we're going to start doing the process. The only thing that will be different about what we're doing today from what you might do is we're working with a double brood box. So in, when we come back in a second, we'll be reassembling the hive in the way that you would do for, for, for this manipulation. Brawling. So the whole principle of Pagden is you need to separate the queen and the older flying bees from the brood and the nurse bees. So at the moment, I've got the brood and nurse bees and all the bees, apart from the queen, in these boxes. So these boxes are going to move away from the original position. So first, with this bottom brew box, which is a fair weight, it's going to go onto a new stand over to the side. Whee, good morning. We need to put an extra frame in there. This is the frame that we took out earlier that has the queen on in a separate box. So there, as that frame dropped in, and the dummy board. I need to level this stand up because this is on a double brew box. This is the second brew box, which needs to go on top. Knock those bees' heads down. On with the second box. So, this is basically the original hive minus the queen. Queen excluder on. This colony's had two supers. It's got great stores in it. I'm going to put one super on this. And because I've got two supers I'm going to put one super on each. Often in the diagrams, it'll tell you to put all the honey on that one. But because I've got two, I'm going to do it like this. That needs a roof on it, but we'll worry about that in a minute. Over here. This is the original site. This is where the new colony is going to get assembled. And all the flying bees, because this has always been home, I'm going to come home. Need to pick up the entrance block. Floor. Now, what I did at the start of the process, because we handily found the queen really early, was popped her into a box that I had ready or, uh, and waiting, because I thought this was going to happen. So the queen is in this box, on one frame that I pulled out of the other colony. I chucked it in at the edge so it would be easy to find. I don't really want it at the edge anymore. 
I want it nice and central. And I also need to check there's absolutely no chance of any queen cells on this frame. Because if there is, you haven't really achieved anything. And while we're doing this, we'll have a look and see if we can fit, still see the queen on here. Yeah, she is. Fantastic. Yeah, so we've got the queen here. We know she's still there. She's on a frame of sealed brood, which is great. There are no queen cells on that frame. One, two, three, four, five. I've used a mixture of foundation and uh, a drawn comb in here. That frame's a bit yucky. So I might just move that couple of frames out and swap them over. Going to assemble it with the best stuff I've got. You could use just foundation, but I'm going to mix it up here so I've got a little bit of everything. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Need a dummy board. I'll sort that out in a second. Crown board on for a moment while I just stop and think. Queen excluder. Two seconds while I grab a dummy board. Boards in, and as I say, I've got a super off that other one which has got a lot of honey in it, and I'm going to pop that one on there partly to draw out the comb in that bottom box. The bees are going to need energy to do it. I could put food feed on, but I've given them a good honey supply. The other precaution you can do when you do this is if you're worried about that bottom box absconding. You can put a queen excluder for a couple of days only between the floor and the brew box and then take it out. If you're doing it on foundations, that sometimes stops them going, hang on, we don't like it here, and leaving. I haven't done that here because I've got some drawn foundation. And that's the Pagden Swarm.